Welcome back to Black Star Dove. <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel. As always, I do need that HBO special, which simply means help a brother out I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Um, I've been seeing a lot of stuff. Well, I've been seeing it for a while, but lately it's been a little bit more up in the air of social media of the whole flying out culture. Um, of course, flying out is nothing new. But now it seems to be taking a turn for the worse, especially with as high as sex trafficking has become in recent years. Um, you're seeing both women and men being flown out by people who they don't really have romantic interest in. And that is a huge mistake. Like that is <laughs> that shit is crazy to me. Like first and foremost, how can you agree to be flown out? to somewhere by someone that you don't really even have feelings for or like you know that's a game right there then on second on second uh, the second thing is that you're probably being flown out to a place that you're not all the way familiar with even though you may have been there a few times you're somewhere that you're not really familiar with you really have no access to any type of resources because a lot of these people that are being flown out, I'm noticing that they don't even have a way to get their cells back home. And that shit is crazy. Like, we all seen the two recent videos of the men flying women out and the women don't want to have sex with them. So they're, they're leaving them stuck there and the women don't have a way to get back to their homes. And I'm just like, first and foremost, because, well, it happens to men as well. Because there's women that fly men out, but it's more prevalent to see men fly women out. So I'm like, a, why would you accept a flight from a dude that you barely know? Why would you accept a flight from a dude you don't have no romantic interest in? Then you get there. There's no telling what he can do to you. Like those women are just the women are those women are lucky. They only got exposed or something worse could have happened to them. They could have got raped. They could have got killed. They could have got sold into sex trafficking, and no one would have cared. You hear black women say a lot that no one wants to protect them. No one really cares about them. But at the same time, I need for black women to realize that we don't live in a perfect society. We don't live in Pleasantville. If you've ever seen that movie, Pleasantville, there's a reason why they teach self-defense classes. There's a reason why they teach um, defensive driving. It's because not everything is going to go smoothly. So you, you have to protect yourself as well. Um, you should not be being flown out by a man that you have you don't have romantic interest in. That's the first thing. Yes, that man should have enough self-respect and enough, you know, self-control to not force himself upon you if that was to happen. But at the same time, why put yourself in that dangerous position? Like, that, you're putting yourself at the mercy of that man. You know, for the most part, men are usually stronger than women. They're usually taller, bulkier, all that stuff than, than women. So you're putting yourself in a position to have yourself be taken advantage of by someone that you're hoping has enough self-restraint not to do it, especially if you if you turn him down, like you're putting yourself at risk. I don't understand that part um, just to get flown out to take a few pictures for Instagram, maybe to a place you've never been before. One lady, um, she was she was living in Detroit and the dude flew her to, I believe, Miami. And she was like, I've never been to Miami. I always wanted to go. That's why I went. And I was like, I'm thinking like you went, you had a complete stranger fly you out who you had no romantic interest in just to fly you out to Miami because you've never been one of the most dangerous places in the country. <laughs> like, and you like anything could have happened to her. And she was just lucky that, you know, he said, OK, if I'm not going to smash, you have to find your own room. You have to find your own way back like that shit is crazy like like i need people to realize what 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 like the transactions that's going on like you know there pe people want to be city girls or city boys and all that bullshit the people who's even rapping about that don't even live that lifestyle like like this they're all lying to you like those people are all pretty much for the most part in committed relationships like trying to work towards marriage and these not it happens to the men too but these women and men are trying to quote unquote finesse their way into a, a free trip or a free bag or a free this and it's called getting to the bag 
that is extremely dangerous. Because you might try it once and it might work. Try it again and it might work. And you're thinking that you have a formula, but you might try it that third time and you, and you realize that you're not coming back. Because that happens a lot too. And then what happens when there's a missing black person? No one really cares. No one's really gonna look. Just another one missing. Take that time to really protect yourselves. And don't put yourself in a dangerous position where you have to rely on someone to protect you. Like, I don't know, I just see it. And like, to me, I just think it's like, it's so stupid. Cause I'm like, if you see it for what it is, it's just a transaction. So it's the same as prostitution. So this person is flying you out with the expectation of there being sex. First and foremost, you should have that discussion beforehand. Uh, so that way, if you say, no, I don't have that intention of doing that, he could just say, okay, you know, either he wants to still bring you or not. But a lot of people be so desperate for the bag or desperate for these trips, they're willing to lie and to make themselves seem like they're like the freakiest person on earth when they're really not. Um, that's why I made a video a few months ago has saying, has porn affected your view of sex? Because porn does not does not adequate to real sex. Porn is like a, a a fantasy simulation, like when everything goes extremely right. Regular sex is not like that. People watch all these all these porn and all this stuff. Like they're they're just actors. That's, that's all it is. They're actors. Um, but man, like this culture is getting real crazy, and I'm just very lucky and I'm very happy to see that these people are just getting exposed and I'm not and I'm not hearing about someone going missing because you hear about that a lot too um to, to the women and men getting flown out by people that they barely know especially the ones that they have no real romantic interest in think twice before you do it because if you're not from that area you're an alien and I don't care how many times you've been there you've probably only been to the good parts if they take you to the bad part, your ass will be like a deer in headlights. Like, if you're going to go somewhere, go on your own dime and then go, you know, everything that you're paying for and stay at a place where you know that's safe and secure. Like, stop putting yourself at risk for a few Instagram likes and a few Instagram followers. I never understood that. But take care. I love you. Peace.